What's going on, guys? I'm going to warn you, I'm going to say the words Super Saiyan a lot in this video because I'm not exactly sure how else to explain what I'm trying to say. Now, this isn't really a review, but as most of you know, about a week ago, we got some leaked images of Vegeta supposedly going Super Saiyan God. Not Super Saiyan Blue, but the actual Super Saiyan God with the red hair that Goku underwent with the in the Battle of Gods movie in Ark or whatever. So, I was actually wondering how he got this form, and I decided to check out this chapter, but that's not what really got my attention in this chapter. I'll get to that in a bit. But Goku kind of explains it, I guess, if you really dig deep and read between the lines. Goku says that Super Saiyan God is the form before Super Saiyan Blue. So, since we know that Vegeta has had Super Saiyan Blue for a long time, since the way Goku kind of worded that makes me think like Super Saiyan Blue is like the ascended version or like the Super Saiyan 2 to Super Saiyan, you know, God with the red hair. So I believe that based on what Goku said, it's only natural that if Vegeta got the transformation after Super Saiyan God, he should be able to revert it or like kind of dumb it down. Not dumb it down, but you guys know what I mean. To, to step one level down to Super Saiyan God because... Think of it this way. Think of Super Saiyan God with the red hair as Super Saiyan 1 and Super Saiyan Blue as Super Saiyan 2. If Vegeta were to jump straight to Super Saiyan 2, like normal golden-haired Super Saiyan 2, I'm pretty sure he can not put as much power behind it and go into Super Saiyan 1. That's what I think is going on with this. But that's not really what I want to talk about. What I really want to talk about is v Vegeta getting some spotlight in this manga and it seems like the manga content has been better than the anime content so far in my opinion in most aspects the only thing i like in the anime better was when super saiyan blue goku combined his god key with kaioken and i don't remember if that's in the manga because i've skipped a lot of chapters i don't really read the manga as faithfully as i watch the the anime episode so correct me if i'm wrong but i know in the in the universe tournament the, that Goku went Super Saiyan God, like regular red-haired, and whereas in the anime, he did that Kaioken and Super Saiyan Blue combo, which is epic as fuck. That's the only thing in the anime, and I think I like more than the manga, but the manga, man, it made Vegeta shine this chapter. I think I'm kind of fanboying because, as most of you know, Vegeta is my favorite character in Dragon Ball of all time. He's my favorite character. He's just so badass to me. There's just something about his cocky attitude and wanting to get stronger and surpass Goku, although we know that's probably never going to happen, or if it does, it won't happen for long, because Goku is, of course, the main character, but Vegeta is my favorite, and just how, when Goku was explaining what Vegeta is doing to whoop Black's ass currently in the manga, I wish this was in the anime. I really, really wish this was in the anime because it would look beautiful. So the reason Vegeta is going Super Saiyan God instead of Super Saiyan Blue for most of this fight is because it's confirmed in this chapter, although we kind of already knew, Super Saiyan Blue takes up way more energy and it burns through the key way faster than Super Saiyan God, the, the red hair. So Vegeta is using his Super Saiyan God form in order to conserve his energy and right when he makes contact with black he explodes into super saiyan blue and i guess that the the force of the transformation plus the power already behind super saiyan blue is making his attacks that much more powerful and as soon as he's done punching and kicking the fuck out of black then he reverts back the Super Saiyan God like that. So essentially, Vegeta's flying around in Super Saiyan God, the red-haired God version, and then he's attacking, and right when he attacks, he's switching to Super Saiyan Blue in order to conserve his energy throughout the fight and only bringing out that the explosive force when he needs to. That is fucking amazing. And the reason why this is so impressive to me is because Vegeta's the one that thought of this. Now, I'm not saying that Vegeta's dumb or anything, but let's get real. Throughout Dragon Ball Super so far, it's mainly been Dragon Ball Goku. Dragon Ball Vegeta really hasn't been all that... I mean, he's done some epic shit, but it's always been up to Goku to like clean up after Vegeta got his ass whooped. But this right here, even Goku said Vegeta is the one that thought of this. This, this is 100% Vegeta, and... This just further proves that Vegeta is actually a genius. He is a bad-ass mofo. The Prince of Saiyans, like I said, my favorite character. Uh, 
it, it was just super impressive to see him get this spotlight in Super because Vegeta has been swept under the rug multiple times. I mean, of course, in Dragon Ball Battle of the Gods, he got his ass whooped by Beerus, even though he did surpass Goku for a little... Of course, we know Goku got Super Saiyan God. And in Resurrection F, Vegeta, he didn't fuck around with Frieza. I really wish uh, Vegeta would have gotten the final hit on Frieza. But, of course, he died and the whole world fucking exploded and then Goku had to come back and save the day. That's the kind of stuff I mean when Vegeta, when I say that Vegeta gets swept under the rug a lot in Dragon Ball Super and in this new content. But this chapter right here was just fucking amazing. And, of course, we end off with the chapter uh, with uh, Zamasu fusing with Black, making the feud Zamasu. I'm not exactly sure what to call him. Zamasu, goddammit. I just wanted to take the time to talk to you guys about Vegeta using this dope ass combination like Super Saiyan God and right, right when he's about to attack turning into Super Saiyan Blue that's just so fucking dope to me and it seems like the manga is getting way more creative than the anime is although a lot of things are the same it's not that much different not that many differences from the manga to the anime but the differences that are there I really really am enjoying I may actually start reading and reviewing the manga whenever it comes out because like I said I haven't really been reading it as much as I've been watching the anime but this right here man I'm like damn if only this was in the anime just imagine how cool Super Saiyan God Vegeta would look with the red hair and like this slightly darker skin tone and slim down in the anime that would he would look awesome he looks awesome in the manga but you really can't beat seeing something in manga animated and actually moving around and all that shit in front of you it's it's like a totally different feeling but the manga right now is on fire and i'm loving it but tell me what you guys think down below i'm about to go watch the actual dragon ball super episode that just came out and i'll be back with a review of that sometime later on today anyway this has been jamie the chiha like comment subscribe and i'm out